everybody. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. What's happening? I'm Mike Delicio. Welcome to Top 10 Blue Games. Or we're very, if you notice, we're, we're, yeah. we're, we're, we're and with the blue clipboards, we're on, we're on fire. We are. I have it's, the nice clipboard, but. You do. You've got a padded clipboard over How there. How do you have that nice padded clipboard? This is my own personal clipboard. <laughs> I didn't know we were allowed to bring clipboards from home, Tom. This is my I thought Coconut we had to use Grove clipboard. <laughs> I we had to use company, or, you know, issued. Uh, issued. Thank you, clipboards. All right. So today we're talking about top ten games that we like mm -hmm. with one annoying rule. For me, when I made this list, mm -hmm. there's a lot of games where I could say, "Well, I don't like all the rules," or you know, if there's I mean, yeah, or, yeah, sure. Or right. this this rule is so terrible, I hate the game. Mm. There's a lot of games like that. Where yeah, I'm like, sure. I don't like this, right. therefore I don't like the game. I didn't put those on the list because I don't like the game. Right. Yeah, this was a tricky list for me for a couple of reasons. Number one, I don't like house ruling games. I just, for some reason, it, it just I makes me it. uncomfortable, I right? So, so uh, I don't really even necessarily think I would be using house rules to get rid of these rules. Um, and also, when I think about games, I found when trying to put this list together that I don't necessarily do well at remembering specific individual rules. I think of games like in a holistic way. I kind of know how the game works, right. but I have to be sitting down in front of the game to remember a lot of specific rules. Sure, the way it hits you like, yeah. oh, I don't like that. So, and then you forget about it. Right, so I have a feeling both of your lists, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, no, for I sure. No, if you will, with these. Um, His are so esoteric. Yeah, yeah. They're no one's not, heard of them. I don't think they are, but, and I also have a mix of Things I just deal with mm. and things I do change. Okay. okay. I change almost all of mine with wow. the exception of two. Um, no, I only change but, a but, couple. But none of them are, there's very few, very major ones anyway. Yeah. Because if you change that, you change the whole tenor of the game sometimes. Yeah, 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 right. This like has to be games that you do like, and that little thing is annoying, but then you, you deal with it. Right. Because otherwise... Yeah, it otherwise... Make the <laughs> otherwise yeah. it's just not not games we don't like. Right. Correct. I'm curious. I'm mm. very, I, very curious what you guys I put in your list, you and I normally one don't crossover. care. Right. You Right. Know what? what? Huh? <laughs> I said the crossover <laughs> thing you said is great. <laughs> yeah, you think we'll have one crossover? At least. Okay, I feel comfortable in one... I feel comfortable in one crossover. I I'm going to say you guys have. See, you one. have to mention this one thing I put you on here. You do not. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's on there. So two crossovers. <laughs> really? Gosh. Okay. There's only one I feel comfortable crossing over, and it's only with with Tom. Oh, I so. see how it is, Mike. Oh, he's it. calling it. Well, I'm. Just You're gonna... my one annoying rule. How about that? <laughs> New number one. That's right. Delicio. Mm -hmm. Let's get started. what he usually is. Hey, number 10. Look, I figured this could be a potentially controversial list, right? I mean, anytime you talk about games... Not that particularly. Are, I think it could be. It's so, inflammatory. Maybe. Incendiary. I already know your number 10 is not... So, but no, no, it's the opposite. I, I decided I want to start calm, right? With it's something ranch that's probably dressing. Not, the whole thing is ranch it's, that's dressing. Not, I don't think anyone's going to have any issue with this one. Uh -huh. uh, I don't think so. We'll, create any kind of controversy at all. So my number 10 is Ankh. That's right. The merge rule. So, yeah. You, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> really? Now, yes. Uh, as soon as well, I knew we were doing this list, and uh, you know, I, I thought, okay, is this going to make it on the list? And I'm not putting it on here just for fun, just for show. I really think this fits, because I like the game. Obviously, I rated it an 8. It could go up. I don't like the merge rule. Now, like I said a little while ago, I'm pretty opposed to house ruling. Yes. I don't know if I'm going to play this without the merge rule. I just am going to be very careful that if I'm introducing this game to new people, that I go very, very, very hard into, hey, this is something that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Be prepared. If you don't like it, you know, if you're, if you're, try to have an open mind. Um, but Oh, wow, that look speaks a million no, words. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm amused by this. But I want to clear something up before we go farther. Yeah. We decided on the topic of this list yes. weeks ago because yes. we knew it would take longer to do before yes. we had even played on. Right. And Ankh is not on my list. I just want to... Uh, uh, Ankh is also not on my list. <laughs> That's fine. Stay I, on your own there, I, man. I, I understand. <laughs> Judging by the the 
ratio of comments. It's on, too new, that's uh, why. Right, right, it is new, and I knew that that was a little bit of a, of a risk on this one, but that's okay. The, based on the ratio of comments in our review or in any place you see this talked about, 90% are about the merch. 90% of the conversations are about how about that merch mechan right. mechanism. And there are people out there that love it. That the, It's certainly you know innovative. There's no question. And, and part of the re resistance could be that it is. But I'm putting it on there because it's a rule that just, like I said in the review, I think it's very clever. I just don't think it's a lot of fun. So that's why it's on my list, but I still think the game is great. I have only anywhere to go up from here. There you go. I'm setting is you up. Is it me next? Yes, okay. Well, I might really are super safe bets now. Oh, okay. I mean, this is like... <laughs> After Ox, we can do whatever we want. That's and right. I mostly <laughs> ranked these, by the way, kind of based on how annoying it is mm, That's kind that of among I mean. the package. I mean, the game... How much I like the game doesn't really go up in a steady fashion. I it's agree. Mine about, went from least annoying to most annoying. Yeah, that's kind that's of what I did, too. It. Yes. So this number 10 is a pretty simple, tiny little thing. It goes away immediately at the beginning of the game. I just think it's not the best way to do it, and that is King of Tokyo. In King of Tokyo, the first player who comes, you begin out of Tokyo. Right. And the first player who makes it into Tokyo is whoever first rolls a claw, or two, or three, mm. or all five, and they do nothing. They get you in, and you score ah, a point. But you don't damage points. anybody. You don't do anything. Mm. So rolling more than one on the roll that gets you in is garbage. Mm. And I've actively seen, almost in almost every game, you see players like roll three and then like re-roll two of them, try to get away from the claws, mm. which you do not normally do in that right, game. Right. I would much rather there be a, a rule in place where someone at the table begins there, and we start the game. Got it. As opposed to there being a rule to just sort of get in the first time, and then it's never not occupied again. Mm. It seems like a weird rule. This just, does not bother me at all. I just wish someone would begin there. Like, do a roll outside of the game. Mm. Everybody roll. Most claws, you begin there, and now we start the game. You know what I'm saying? I do. I yeah. just don't like that you can have a very wasteful first roll like that, where yeah. you're like, oh, look at all these claws. What do I get? You're in Tokyo now. Mm. <laughs> Great. So, okay. again, this is a minor one, but this yeah. is my number 10, and I really don't like it. I don't like the way the game starts, but I don't change it. It goes away. You right. know, it's three minutes in, it goes away, but I don't love it. Hmm. Yeah, we actually had someone ask in a super chat, if we could say if we changed the rule or not. So, Ankh, we uh, have not played long enough correct. To, to do that, which is another reason I put it on my list because I never tried it without it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, BGO Deck asked that. And then okay. Gator Dave said yay for Mike, but that's not worth talking about. Gator Dave <laughs> said yay for Mike. That's all right. He'll, he'll turn on me by, tur by, by pick eight. Don't worry um, about it. Good. So anyway, my number 10 is also really minor. In fact, it probably bothers almost nobody, but it bugs me just a little bit because I love this game mm -hmm. a lot. The game is Dominion. I love Dominion. Mm -hmm. It just bugs me. The ending condition is simply when the decks are gone or when the problems are gone, the game ends. And I think it's just very easily amended. It ends as soon as everyone has had the same number of turns. Oh, That's so it. It's because it's not equal turns. It's a very minor mm. thing. Dominion has a tiny, tiny first player advantage. Mm -hmm. Not massive. <laughs> um, tiny first player advantage. Uh, uh -huh. So I just play that way as long as the other people table are good with it. I'd rather play that way. Again, it, very, very minor. Yeah, I bet if you didn't even say it, people wouldn't even necessarily. Oh, I think about it, though, because you're sitting there like, oh, they're going to run out of that deck. Yeah. I would like one more turn. And if and it's like, well, you had one more turn than me. If you right. got two points and you beat me, it feels like. Eh. Yeah. What even is the reason, I guess, for not giving people equal turns in that game? That the shuffle evens out, I think. Maybe. Okay. But it doesn't. Hmm. See, it ends instantly. So you could literally have one more turn, and it's really I know, problematic I get what sometimes you're when three people have right. a turn and the fourth person doesn't, or sure. something. Again, this is very, 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 right. very minor. Mm -hmm. Okay. But annoying. There you go. Fair enough. Roy, Roy was saying not to talk when we come in, so <laughs> I'm trying.
scrolling wrong. All right, you my number nine. Uh, you, you, you you both brought up some uh, minor nitpicky, you might say. Here we go. I Mike might is say. bringing the heavy hammer. If, if Anka's your ten, I don't no, know what else we can do. No, no, I'm saying my. No, I'm I'm trying to massage. Number nine, my Gloomhaven. My number nine is a very minor thing. You might call it nitpicky. It's, it's not a big deal, but it does. I've always found it a little annoying. And and this is another well loved game, and it's well loved by me, or it wouldn't be on the list. This mm-hmm. is from Wingspan. Any ideas what the what the rule is? This might be fun. Guessing what the rule is. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, it it's not players. easy to clear the tray in the middle. No, you can't clear the tray. You yeah, can clear. It's it not clears. that. It's not that. It clears. The it's beginning very of each minor. Round. It's a it's a nitpicky little thing. Uh, you trigger the bird. That from the, the eggs front don't of the mean back. anything to different colors. No, no, no. I wouldn't count that as a rule. It's it's managing the bird feeder, the food in the bird feeder, the whole idea of. You, you roll a dice, you, the, the food you're going to choose, you take outside of the bird feeder. Mm-hmm. Inside the bird feeder, mm-hmm. if everything is showing one face, then you can choose to pick those all up. It just feels a little bit I agree, it feels the slightest bit clunky. It feels I agree. slightly I agree clunky, and it's not a big deal, right? But it, it, it's in such a smooth, elegant game, it's the one time I feel like it just kind of like, oh, wait, um, I, oh, wait, there's all the same, I can... And does this the same one if it has the the worm and this on it? Is that different than just I the agree. worm? Which it is. That's a unique face. So it's just a little thing. But this is kind oh, wait, of those, a, do, those are different. Yes, that's a, that's a unique yes. face. Ha, ha, ha. Different faces. Right. I don't often run into that because almost no one ever not takes those. Double yeah, those, ones. Are, usually, oh, yeah, the, those yeah. are usually the. You first do reset take. the entire pool of dice. Correct. Though, when you do that. That's exactly right. Yes. So it just almost seems like it would be easier just to be like when there's one die left, re-roll. Re-roll it. But that sometimes it's be, too punishing. It's yeah. too limiting. I get why it's done. Right. But I agree with you that maybe, yeah, maybe there would be another sort of smoother system yeah. to do that. Again, I agree it's just a little that. nitpicky thing, but it, but it's, it ca- came to mind, and so I thought, yeah, I wish there was a little slightly different way. Cause That's a good call. I, I have to explain it every time, you know, I, I, multiple times when I'm teaching. It is the trickiest thing, I think. Yeah. yeah. That's a good call. That's All a right. good one. Wow. Look at that. Look at that list picking back up. Oh, my goodness. Amazing. Finally. Finally. <laughs> a good thing. That's right. Okay, this is one that I think neither one of you guys have played. Mm. It is a game called Via Magica, which is a the reprint, That's re-theme. The no, no, I got you. This is the reprint, re-theme of uh, Rise of Augustus. Mm-hmm. Oh, not, have not I want to play this one. Is it in the library? I don't know. Mm. Where did it, did it come through us? I reviewed it a long time ago, yeah. Huh. Z keeps it with all of his fancy clipboards. That's exactly where it is. <laughs> um, there's a rule in Rise of Augustus yes. that deals with something that comes up in the game that was removed from Via Magica. Mm-hmm. And that is very simple. There's a tiebreaker rule. Okay. If two people call bingo at the same time, the game's a bingo style B-I-N-G-O. game. You say Ave Caesar, B-I-N-G-O. what you're supposed to say. N-G-O. You don't. Well, you can say that, sure, but if two yeah. people complete cards at the same time, right. you then check a little number in the corner of the card that's like just a tiebreaker right. number. It's like mine says 37, mine's 52, then one of us goes first. I forget which one, yeah, if it's yeah. high or low. Via Magica does not have that. You're supposed to shout first. Oh. Ah, boo. And I hate oh, that's that. Boo. That's annoying. That's annoying. Yeah. That's and you might annoying. think, oh, it doesn't really matter. It matters because you then will score that and, and take a new one from the pool. Is it the end, you know, game breaking? Bingo. No. Mm-hmm. It's just kind of annoying. What are you yeah. supposed to say? Magic juice. <laughs> I don't know what you're supposed to say. <laughs> say something. No, um, Paolo Mori. Probably. That's what you should say. And so I really don't like that they removed that rule. I get that the game went lighter. They, they made it simpler. They made it cuter, mm-hmm. shorter, all of those things. But it needs to keep a tight-breaking thing because it yeah. will happen. Yeah, that's a that's It happens in most games once or if not every other game at least once. So I just I hate that kind of mechanism in a game that is otherwise strategic. Yeah. I'm keeping rise of a guess. You know, the whole now. Like, slap a thing or whatever. Oh, come on. Yeah, not yeah. not Z could have just game. made slapping in this game, slapping in this game. <laughs> yeah, but I hate those games generally. Whereas right. I like this game except for that one rule. Mm. So via Magica, I think I house rule this one. I mm. just say most symbols goes first or something. Like I try to find a way to, sure. to give it order. Yeah. Or I have a token, go between the players, and if it happens, then you go you and then give me the off. token okay. or whatever. Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors. My number nine sure. is one I ha- I do house rule. In fact, if I teach you the game, I'm del- I don't even tell you the correct rules. Um, For which it- game? I'm not there yet. 
Come on, say the game. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm good. I'm, oh, well, yeah, he's building anticipation. See? No, but the second edition of this game, I think they fixed the rule for it. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, the game is Sheriff of Nottingham. What game? What's the rule? <laughs> The, the rule the, the, the is discard, uh, the discard two decks. discard piles, yes. discard mm -hmm. this many, and yeah. draw. Yeah. Yes, right. Two discard piles. And I know why it was changed. They, the person who did it wanted a whole lot more strategy. It slows the game down <laughs> way too much for anyone to care. I've never taught it with one discard pile and had someone come back and go, wait. I, I want yeah. two. You should be consistent with the style piles. of game, right? This is a light game, you know? Don't get yeah, caught Sheriff, up in that and stuff. And I love Sheriff and I mean, It's part of Dice Tower Essentials, right? Right. And it's in the Dice Tower Essentials. Well, it was part of Dice Tower Essentials. In the Dice Tower Essential rules, it says the discard piles. And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> to your own thing, yeah. Yeah. So... That's a good call. I, that I, I call. just really... that. Every when we first did it, the first time I was like, I don't know if I like this. Second time I highly disliked it. So, yeah, but, but it's, it's an easy. It's fix. a really easy fix, yes. right? Yeah. Exactly. All right. All right, so for my number eight, I don't think this would be on either of your lists because I don't think you like the game nearly as much as I do. I hate it. Fantastic. I hate it more you, than Z does. Whoa! My number eight game is Title Blades. No, I like it. Okay. I yeah, hate it. I like it the most ooh, of the three of us for sure. Think. So yeah, I want to see if you have an idea of what the rule the annoying would be. annoying rule. Well, my annoying thing is there's no player board, but... Um, oh, that doesn't bother me at all. The you, annoying rule? Yeah. You lose all the dice when you fight. That's exactly, but only when you fight monsters. That's exactly right. I don't like when you go to fight the monsters in the fold. They call it the area that you go to fight monsters because mm -hmm. everything else you're doing is like doing like stunts, right? And you mm -hmm. you spend dice, right? They become exhausted and you have to get them back. But when you go to fight a monster, those dice are gone. And oftentimes those are dice you've built up over multiple turns to get to be the most powerful dice because yeah, they're upgrading right? dice, right? And I get that you know you're fighting monsters is supposed to be dangerous and and also maybe it you know mechanically thins out your dice pool so you're not just loaded up with dice at the mm -hmm. end of the game there, right. so there might be I, I stipulate there might be mechanical I'm sure there are mechanical reasons behind it but it again it hits that fun factor for me where it removes some of the fun it's like I, I always go to the monsters because I feel like I have to not because I want to right. you see what I'm getting at and yeah. it's only because I lose my dice and I feel yeah. like that should be something you're like yeah I'm gonna go fight a monster I'm always like, all right, I, I've got to fight this monster, Here and these go. dice this are gone, right? Gonna go away and these now, dice yeah. are gone now. So my concern with that rule, and I, I don't love it either, but mm -hmm. my concern is the ebb and flow of the game. Yeah. So if you fight a monster on turn the second last turn of the game, right. right? You can't build back up on the last turn, so you're like, oh, okay, right. and it, because it takes so long to recover from it. It does, yes. That's that's that that's why that would bother me. It's very know, similar to a small world. With like the ebb and flow of when you put something into a In, decline. Into decline, yeah. There's some rounds where you're like, I should go in decline, but it's so close to the end of the game. Right. I'll oh, just hang on with these guys. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> see, see what yes. I can work out yeah, here. Cause yeah, because the final round isn't gonna be worth it or whatever. Right. So yeah, yeah. But uh, I, I get you. That mm -hmm. that always feels a little punishing. Right. Yeah. So good game, but I don't love that rule. All right, my number eight pick is an oldie but a goodie. This mm. is a card game a, a, in which you bid. It's called Your Bluffing. Ooh, uh, ooh, ooh. Oh. What is the rule I don't like in Your Bluffing? The scoring? There's a rule I actually change. I do change this. So it's not the scoring, because the scoring is really the, wonky. The scoring is kind of wild and wonky. Because you see there's a, there's a horse that's worth 10,000, and there's a chicken that's worth 10. That's <laughs> like 1,000, I think. 1,000 well, and 10, 100 or 10. Horses yeah. are an order of magnitude better of chickens, don't you think? I mean, it, it has something to do where you can challenge me right back, or there's something about a bouncing between? It's no? very simple. Okay, go ahead. Here we in go. this game, you flip a card, and then it auctions off. When it's your turn, you're the auctioneer. People bid on it. But that is the rule. You flip a card and auction it off, mm -hmm. and the game is too long if you do that. Okay. It takes it outside of what is basically like a quick sort of funny, energetic card game. It should be, you know, 45 minutes tops. Mm. And it'll go way outside of that usually if you auction a card at a time. So you auction two cards at a time. Oh, okay. You auction the lot. I never lot. knew this. Okay. You auction both off, and it has two effects. It shortens the game, 
but it also means that you are creating more moments where people have to challenge each other. Because if you want a True. horse, yeah, yeah, you yeah, flip a horse and a pig, and you're like, I'm, I'm, I'm in for that horse. You also get the pig, right? And I'm the one collecting pigs. Mm. So I'm like, mm, okay, I'll offer you this for the pig. So I like that it creates more interaction between the players. You that know, that is a good rule. Yeah, I, I will, I will follow this rule. It's online. I mean, it's a, it's not in the rule book, but people have sort of, you know, done. Huh. It for I need a while. to play this game. This seems like something I might enjoy. This is yes. a fun game. Yes, it's we have a dice our library because it's, it's worth game. it. And there's right. also a board game based on this, which you have not played yet, mm -hmm. um, which has some similarities. Okay. Card game's a little cleaner, especially now. I know you can auction, auction lots. Two cards. Mm -hmm. It's garbage. I really like I it. I really like that I'm going to roll a die, and that's my card you auction. There you go. Game changer! I just broke your rule. That's All right. right. Never mind. Then. My number uh, eight is no longer uh, your bluff. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight for me is the biggest game on all the lists, and I played it more than both of you put together, and that's Ether Fields. Yes, that's true. I played it, but not Ooh. nearly as much as you. Are you putting in? Like the are you whole, literally putting the in the phase? whole between dreams? I am. That's wow. not a rule, Tom. That's not one annoying rule. That's a that's like no, a third, no, a third no. of the game. The rule is <laughs> yeah. When you draw the card, right, you go to that in between phase. Yes, and I'm saying. No, you don't. Well, I considered actually putting That's this on the list. That's a lot of changes. I, but no, it's, it's one now, change. It's, sure. it's now also <laughs> an official variant. It is an official variant. Yeah. I was doing it first. Yeah, that's right. It's called the OG Tom V variant. It's, mm -hmm. well, basically, they're like, are you a baby? Play with this variant. <laughs> that's right. I'm like, yes, yeah. I am. This is not how the <laughs> game is designed, but you can play it this way. It's basically I, what they say. I don't yeah. like those. They, the dreams are so much fun. We played right. one live oh, here, yeah. and we had a great time playing it. The slumbers are fun twice, yeah, maybe three times. In fact, I wouldn't even argue maybe each slumber, the first time it comes up, it's super interesting. Yeah, okay. that's true. After that, it's you're tedious. like, ah. It's tedious. And I love the game so much outside that. Right. So, yeah, that this is a big bit. change, man. I mean, I know they made it official, like folks were saying in the mm -hmm. comments, but that's not a tiny sort of change to the rules. It is not. That's a big one. But the thing is, it doesn't really change the core experience of the game, I would argue. Well, it does though a little bit. And it that's, makes it quicker. But that's why I made this list, because I love the game. Right. But that bugs me about it. Yeah. To the point where I've changed it. Sure. And I know it's a huge change. It's it's the biggest of any change mm -hmm. probably on anyone's list, really. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so. Yeah, I considered I'm sticking this. sticking with it. I considered it. Ether Fields. Mm-hmm. What you got? What you all got? right, so what my number got? seven, I'm, I'm noticing that these are all uh, Ether Fields also. very popular but you games. you only do the slumbers. That's correct. <laughs> I only do the slumbers. <laughs> Nothing but slumbers. Oh, so you, Mike's, Mike's are ranked in Board Game Geek rank. That's correct, yeah, in, yeah. in rank of weight. Board Rico. Game Geek Why weight. Why I struggle? Um, Gloomhaven. That's my number seven, Gloomhaven. Are you serious? I'm very serious. What's the rule? It better not be that miss card. No, no, it's not the miss card. That's a big change. I yeah. can't miss. That's right. <laughs> yeah, this has nothing to do with the fact that I suck at this game. What is the what is the rule? Well, okay, the the, the rule some people don't like is the actual long rest, short rest rule, but that's no. actually a major part of the no, game. No, it's not that. All right. It's much less. Oh, the, communication? Yes. Okay. It's so annoying to me. It's like, okay. It's limited communication. It's like it because is? because yes yeah, because you have initiatives that. and you're and you're not supposed to, you you can't be like well I've got a twenty six what do you have well I have a forty seven you have to be like I'd really like to go first uh, how important is it to you it's that whole thing I don't like that here's stuff. the thing it drives I, me crazy I was just talking to somebody about this yeah. this exact thing and was it Ryan I remember who it was but they said they played two players mm -hmm. and. They had the. They finally got the cards memorized, so they even knew the number. They'd be like, "I'm doing this. Okay, we can do right. this action." If I play solo with two characters, right, I have complete information. Absolutely. So if I play two, let's hide it for myself. To like hide right. it, <laughs> right. pick it for this character. Yeah. Then slap myself. Right. So I forget. Oh, yeah, it's just Whoa. It, it, to me. It just it's so gamery, you it's, know. It, it, it's just so unnecessary. I just completely ignore that rule. Yeah, you don't you need can say, it. You're doing an 88. Thanks. Great. The game, and if you think that makes the game easier, 
They just crank the level up one notch. If you think that it's makes really the game, easy to do. if you think that makes the game too easy, then invite me to your table and watch how bad Mike we is lose. is a balancing factor. That's correct. I am a self balancing mechanism in Gloomhaven. You're guaranteed <laughs> to lose. Uh, so yeah, I just this just bothers me. It doesn't need to be there. It's it just it's too. I don't know. I'm not even sure what the point is, other than like you said, maybe it, you know some people think it makes it too easy, but I don't think. I think it, it does. just simulates like not knowing what the other person's gonna do. I yeah, can't. but you're allowed to say, right? I'm going to throw a rock. You're allowed to say everything else about the card, right? So once I know that card's 23, I just need to remember memorize that. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's problematic. That's the yes. problem. Right. That's yeah. the actual problem. It's all or nothing. Right. Because right. if I know the card at 28 is this, and you can say sure. the one part but not the other, yeah. Then I just need to have a cheat sheet, you're telling me? <laughs> right. And that's okay? Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah, it's just, it doesn't need to be there, I don't think. So, anyway, that's my number seven. Great game, but uh, that rule, no. My number seven is a uh, cooperative game that just got or is getting a fancy deluxe edition, Ooh, actually. Fancy deluxe. That doesn't like, mean like anything anymore. They're all that. getting fancy deluxe editions. Not all of them, mm. but this one certainly is Castle Panic. Oh, really? Is this again the limited communication thing that he just used? It is not. I don't remember if there is limited I don't, communication. There is some. There's a minor limited communication in Castle Panic. No, this Panic. is a big thing at the end of the game. Oh, this is... Oh, I'm sorry. Not limited communication. This is this. This is the... Uh, we all won! But actually, Z won. Because he killed the most stuff. And uh, Castle Panic, whoever, dealt, whoever deals the killing blow to a creature keeps it. And at the end of the game... Right. They get the Grand Murderer <laughs> Award or whatever. We all win, uh -huh. but they get a trophy. But you are the winner. -er. Right, you're the winner. And you are, you are supposed to sometimes, if things aren't, if you don't feel the pressure or whatever, not kill something mm. or not like damage something so that somebody else doesn't kill it. Right. And you can be the one to snipe it and blah, blah, blah. No. <laughs> Full co-op. We all just win. Yeah. It's again one of the most ridiculous rules in cooperative games is this idea of we're all gonna win, but we might not want to help each other out at some points right. because you might win more than I win. <laughs> it's I will it, I, it I like, never have and never will play with this rule. It's no. one of the fastest thrown out rules that I've ever For played sure. with personally. For sure. Where, like, I read the rule book, and as soon as I read that sentence, I'm like, well, I'll never do that. <laughs> What's next? You know what I mean? It just right. it goes away the immediately. Only, but way, it's in there. It's the official rule. The only thing I could rule. see is at the end where you just go, I killed more than you did. Ha, ha, ha. You know, it's a joke, right? Whatever, right yeah. Thing. Who but cares? Exactly. But it's when it ridiculous. starts affecting my behavior in a fully cooperative game, it's a problem. That's true. Yeah, if it actually affects what decisions you make in that Yeah, I'm game. like, I'm not going to hurt that. I have the card. I'm not going to do it. Right, that's Because you might kill it. Right. In a We're cooperative game. Yeah, it's just dumb. It just doesn't work. I just yeah. don't think co co um, semi-co-op ideas work. I really don't. Mm. Until I'm proven wrong, they don't work. You're wrong. No, you're fine. My number seven is a game Z hates. So I don't know that you can guess the rule then. It's Tales of Arabian Nights. Ah. Uh. This game has rules? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's one of the problems, right? Yeah, it does yeah. have some rules. Right, right. I don't know. The rule I dislike in Tales of Arabian Night is at the very beginning of the game, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you set it up you're setting the, the point values that you're going to get to. You need to get 20 story points and 20 whatever the other points are called. Okay. Mm -hmm. In game, there's virtually no difference between those points, except that some things will give you... Two story points, and some will give you something else. There's a little trackers on them where you get bonuses basically on how high you are. Who cares about that rule? Just right. at the end of the game, say the first person to get to a total of 40 between the two of them wins. Yeah. It, the, that, it's such a nonsensical... They said so the guy... I, I, I don't like it, and I, most people I met haven't liked it either. Because they'll be like, I have 30 story points. Right. So I need these points. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go out and do things. Oh, that gave me more story points. Right. So, so you don't dumb. really even have any agency oh, over which type of points. you can't control what kind of points no, you get. No, just no. the different things that happen. So yeah, That reminds me of another game which did not make my list. I really don't think it'll make your list, so I'll say it. The... Ticket to Ride Rails and Sales game. Of course not. I don't like the game. Yeah, has yeah. a similar rule. Where mm -hmm. at the beginning, you take a number of trains and ships. Remember that? Oh, you don't even know what you're supposed to be But taking. you don't know which route you're going to end up going. Like, <laughs> right. you're taking... It's like the kind of game that says, oh, here's three secret objectives. Draw three and then keep one. Mm -hmm. Before you know anything, 
You know what I mean? I'm right. like, I don't know. I'll yeah, keep yeah. this one because mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, this game tells you take 40 pieces between trains and ships. Mm hmm. And then there's a rule in game to trade some for others. I'm like, right. why are you making me pick? I don't know which route I'm going. Right. If I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go this way and I've used a bunch of ships. You block this little piece, and I'm like, my math is half off. Yeah. It's ridiculous that yeah. rule. And it sounds like the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really does. Except, um, you know, uh, I just don't Yeah, I know you don't like yeah, the game, but <laughs> the game you will admit the game is barely a game at all. Right. So to have this kind of weird mathy rule in it. Makes no sense. I agree. It's yeah, very yeah. true. We very, had a super chat true. in there, Roy. Uh, someone was talking about something Z said. They house rolled them. Who was the most helpful in winning? You just get like an MVP award. Uh, you still won. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I guess. We're, we're, sorry, we're really messing with Roy today. If, if there's any cue that's missed, it's on us, not Roy. No, no, definitely not Roy. All right, <coughs> sorry. Number six um, is from a lovely family weight game, a game that I love to introduce to players that don't play a lot of modern games. This is okay. Kakanoko. Um, ooh, 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 I know this one. Okay, what's the rule? The rule is that you can't pick something that's already done. That's actually not the rule. Really? Yeah. That's the rule that bugs me because you're like, done, done. Can I take done. a guess? Yeah. Uh, the die. Does it have to do with the die rolling? <laughs> it doesn't have to do with the die, but this is funny that there's so many annoying rules in this game. <laughs> Talk one of the die game. faces is a third action. It is. Yes. If you get it enough, right. you've played a considerable amount more game than the other player. Oh, that's true. I forgot about that. But yeah, I've seen that happen, actually. Yeah. Um, it's kind of a nitpicky thing, but that's okay. Gosh, the two we said are big things. They're probably both worse than the one I <laughs> Yeah, what is it? Mine I don't is, know. The, is the plot objectives. To me, you've got three different types of objectives in the game, right? You've got yeah. the panda objectives, which is basically eat a certain number and type of bamboo They're shoots. harder than the other ones. Not only are they harder, they they the other ones make just visual sense. You look at them like, okay, I need a, a two yellow and one green uh, things in my belly. Okay, good, I got that one. The other one is just the, the, the height and the type of the bamboo stalks. The plot ones have a particular orientation, but there's a rule in the game that they all have to be irrigated. All of those tiles have to be irrigated. Mm -hmm. That's not intuitive at all. And I don't really know why that rule is there. It's just one of those things where I'm like, okay, why is this here? Because oftentimes I think it gets forgotten and I don't think it really changes the game all that much. Um, why right. are these? Why do they all have to be irrigated? Or they also have some that they have to have particular improvements on them. Yes, that's I, hard. Yeah. I will tell you at the end of the game. Yeah. And I'm drawing cards. I never draw from that deck. Right. It's, it's harder than the other two. The, they are the hardest ones to fulfill. But they I are think. the easiest ones. To, the counterbalance of that is, and during the end, yes. drawing from that deck, it's the most likely to have already been done. Correct. Because you've got more tiles out there. And and maybe that's that. No, but I don't think you can do it if it's already done. That was the rule that's I was a complaining variant. about. That's a variant. Right. The rule is you can score it. Yeah, you can the just The variant is... If you draw one and it's already done, discard it or redraw. And redraw. That's actually the variant that rule. That is correct. Really? Yeah. yeah. The, the rule in the game is you well, can just put it on my list. So, so that balances care. that a little bit. But oh. the way I balance that rule out, what you're talking about, is I just play with another variant, mm -hmm. which is in the rule book, right. in which the last bamboo stalk on an irrigated tile mm -hmm. can never be eaten. Got it. That solves a few problems. Mm. It makes the panda ones, which are the easiest. By far. It brings them in line with the other ones a little bit. Those, mm. That's the easiest. Eat, sure. eat, you know, this, this, and this. Yeah, yeah. Those are very straightforward and easy to accomplish. So he cannot eat the last piece. Right. That's the first one. Mm -hmm. It makes the grower, the bamboo farmer guy, yeah. makes his tasks easier. Okay. Because you already always have one. At least one. He always There's always one if it's irrigated. Right. And lastly... You can easily see if something's irrigated, because it That's always has true. bamboo on it. That's true. Okay. So that rule cleans up a lot of those problems for me. Mm, I like that. Yeah. It's a, I mean, it's a good game. Even with these things, it it's, really a, it's, is. it's a very light family yeah. weight game. So Mike's just this, picking popular stuff. No, no. I This is a rule that bothers me, because it seems like it, it always gets forgotten, and I, I think it's because it's, it's not intuitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I get that. So, yeah. That rule, that you got to try that variant. It's, it's, it yeah, cleans up a lot that. of stuff. Yeah, because I still like the game. I just don't love that rule. All right. What do you got? 
All right, my number six is my uh, newest pick. I just reviewed this. Um, Onk. <laughs> not that new. It's like a week older than that. It, you know, as far as like our reviews go, this is a game called Mandala Stones. Oh, I know what this it's is. It's a very, very easy, obvious one. I almost put this too on that. I, I thought don't. about it, but I don't like the game as much as that's, Z that, does. That's my it's thing a, too. It's sure. okay for I me. liked it. I right. liked it, and I just didn't. I cannot grasp. How this was missed? Yeah, it doesn't make the any way it sense. works. Is you collect these stones right. there in the in the funky pattern. You pick a place with one of the the larger pillars, the black pillars there. You go around it clockwise, starting at any one of the fours around it, and you stack up the stones. Yes, right. Except the first one you take, going clockwise from there, goes to the bottom of the pile. So if you're taking four of them like this. This one here goes to the bottom of this one, and then those two go to the bottom of the. It's the dumbest it, rule. It is. That I emailed, means nothing. That's emailed, the thing. I emailed them because I said I, I, I think I must be missing something here. Right. I said even there's there's no functional reason because I could just say go counterclockwise and do it the other way. Yes. Right. It's the exact same thing. So why not put that in a rule book? Because when I pick things up, I. Your, your fingers just automatically shuffle them up. Yeah. You stack them up. Right. You pick one up from each pile. You go bloop, bloop, bloop. Right. You then don't reverse the stack. And it doesn't change the game at, at all. all. This is the least changing of a game rule change. Because right? it doesn't change it at all. It is the definition of an annoying rule right. that isn't a rule. Right. It doesn't do anything. No. It's all random, A. Mm -hmm. But also, you can fix it in two ways. Go clock and uh, counterclockwise. And then you end up with the same stack. Exactly, right. Or I just go clockwise and I stack them the way they are. I just you know why? The rule. I said it was I so did. annoying. It because just, it's random. Yeah, yes. And this one blew my mind. I read it a couple of times. I'm like, this can't. It, yeah, you, you think you're missing something. It doesn't matter, right? right? I'm like, okay, let me think. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Right. Okay, <laughs> do really not go through an extra <laughs> stacking step. For no good reason. The game's good, but it doesn't make any sense why that rule's in there. So, mm -hmm. yeah, Mandala Stones. Ah, what a weird uh, thing a weird to thing. not iron out before you put the game out. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it either. My number six is the most obscure one on my list. I thought it would be a bigger game when it came out, but it did not, and that's Neom. Neom is a oh. city-building game where okay. it's with tiles, and you're placing them, a futuristic one, and how you place them scores you points, and you draft them. You get a handful of tiles, and you draft it. Okay. I just think there's three disaster tiles in the game that just need to disappear. Okay. There's only three? Yes, and here's the problem. When you play a disaster tile, it's like everybody but the person who played it has to like lose a tile unless you have a certain amount of Ooh, stuff. Okay. Like, I have enough fire stations so the fire doesn't hurt me. Okay. Things like that. Mm -hmm. So it comes around, and I'm like, I don't want to take this stupid tile. Right. But if I don't take it, someone's going to take it, and then I'm going to get burned. So the person who takes it takes it, and they're like, whatever. You know, I took it because it doesn't affect me. Yeah. Everyone else hates it because it affects them. And, uh, yeah, just. Whoever draws it randomly plays it because they have to. Right. And it's so. Well, no, I mean, you draft, so you might be forced to eventually just play it because it's the last one. But someone always takes it. Because they just don't want the bad thing to happen that to them. That's what I mean. If it's in your hand, you probably do draft it just so you don't get hurt by right. it. Yeah, but like the very beginning, I have a really good tile that really helps me out. And that fire tile. And I'm like, Wah. fine, maybe it'll come back around to me. Uh, and some people really like that. Some people yeah. are like, if it wasn't for those, the game would be better. No way. Yeah. Just cut those out. That actually dropped the, the rating of the game a whole point for me. Wow. I really like the wow. game. Wow. But... And I know that a lot of city building games on computers have disasters. I also always open the settings and click the button that says, turn disasters off. Yeah. I then build my big sim city and then turn on all the disasters at one time to see what happens. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Saving it also, first. Also, disasters <laughs> in a video game affect you. Right. It doesn't doesn't create a power imbalance between you and other players at the table. Right. Yeah. That's why it doesn't work, right? Because yeah. it's like, I'm going to not just make myself better, I'm going to hurt you. Yeah, exactly. And then avoid hurting me by picking this. Yeah, it's not a... It, it adds take that to a game that doesn't sound like it has any. Right. Yeah, I have a theory also on why this game may not have been as popular as you thought it would be. Because it's called Neom? Have you seen the cover, Tom? I don't hate the cover. You can get Oof. it out of my face. Oof. Alright, so Neom... Oof. Uh, it's blue. It's a, quick it note, thank theme. you, Andrew Smith, for your super chat. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, 
Uh, so when a video uh, stops, you go. Okay, oh, ready? Is it my, oh, yeah. hey, I'm back. We're back. All right. My number five is a game that um, I, I do feel like I don't I'm, know what's I'm, happening. I'm the one drinking this, and it's affecting you, too. That's correct. <laughs> I had Mike's water. <clears throat> I am aware that this game happens to come up on a lot of my lists, uh, but that's, A, because I like it, and also because it just seems to fit a lot of these. My number five game comes from Wildlands. Any idea what the rule is? If you know the game well enough, I know you've played it. I don't know if you've played it. Have I you? gave it to you. I gave you my copy. I don't know if you've played it, have you? <laughs> Wait, um, is okay. it the setup? Where no. You... no, that's my favorite part of the game. I love uh, the setup. The setup's great. Um... It's one particular type of card. It's a huge hint. That wild, draw two, the wild, wild card? It's the interrupt action. I don't, in the, in the way oh, of I love the interrupt action. No, it's the, it's no, the no, one no. way you hurt somebody. So, when you're playing this game, you have cards that can be do one of three things. They're kind of the most powerful card. You can either yes. draw two more cards. It's a free move action for any character on the board. Doesn't right. have to. You don't have right, to have right, a symbol that's tied up or an interrupt. Okay. So if someone's playing an action, you can. Ah, wait, wait. You interrupt. Okay? Great. I love it so far. Then, you you have to be allowed to play one card, and then someone can interrupt you. The problem is the timing. It's like the stack it's and magic. It's super I, annoying. I get it, yeah. but it's. I have killed more people with an interrupt than any. Let me. Let me I've killed that. more people with a, with a machete <laughs> than you have with interrupts. Yeah. I, I think. look. I, I understand why it's there, and again, I like the game a lot. I just wish there was a way to do it that did not. It's like we're in the flow of this game. We're going. We're going. We're doing our thing. We're picking up our gems. We're we're punching people in the face. Uh uh uh. uh no. We have this interrupt with all of these timing rules. You have to make sure that everyone's had a chance to play one action. I've played an action. Anyone in I, I don't know. Oh, if I interrupt, now, I interrupt, now you. I interrupt. And then you have to remember whose turn it was yeah, so at the beginning. Like first in, last out, like yes. Magic the Gathering rules. It just, There's a lot of that stuff it in it. It just That's true. slows the game to a grinding halt. For some reason, it just bothers me. It's annoying. I get why it's there. It's not even mechanically bad, right? I think you're right. It can be very powerful. I love it. Situationally. The most it ever happens is two people. It never happens with all three. It, man, and I just, I will it always say, makes me laugh. I'm like, I interrupt, like, I interrupt you. I, just, I will say this, Mike. Mm hmm. I like that game not as much as you do, but I like it, and I honestly think the reason I got rid of the game is because of that rule. Yeah, Woo! I think it takes a game that is very simple, right? And because because that card, the way they explain it is, there's three things it does. Yep. Draw two cards, move anyone, or interrupt. Is the next page. page and a half exactly, of rules. Exactly. Exactly right. It's like um, no, that's yeah. not. That doesn't mesh with the rest of the I game. I like the game so much because Mike is beating on Z and Z's almost dead. And Mike's like, now what? I'm like, excuse me. I got this. <laughs> right. It's so fun. <sighs> but is it worth it is all fun. the yes! rules over? Yeah, I don't know that it's worth it's my all first the rules disagreement. over. Right? All right, that's fair. It's fair. I agree with you, First Mike. of many. That's right. That's my number five. Wildlands. Interrupt. Na, 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 na. My number five is also Wildlands. Interrupt. Oh. Okay, fine. I'll change. <laughs> That's a new thing for you. So my number four actually interrupt. <laughs> no, my number five is a weird one. Um, I don't even know if you guys will agree with me that this is a rule I'm in the game. Very disagreeable. Mm. Mode. I'm number out. five is Mansions of Madness Second Edition. You don't like the app? <laughs> I like the app. I think the app is excellent. What on earth? Is it is it like an insanity rule or? It is not an insanity rule. Okay, I get the because I was gonna say the insanity rules will be the thing. Okay, you yeah. see this picture here? Okay, yes, I see the picture. Every time uh, in the app it says to summon a monster, mm -hmm. the rules say you grab the monster, you slide this little token inside of the base, and you put the monster wherever the app tells you. You don't here's like that I, whole monster here's base what thing. I do. <laughs> I take the cardboard token, yeah, uh -huh. and I put it on the board, yeah, uh -huh. and I throw the monster out the window. That's what it is. You don't like miniatures is what I'm I mean. have, I'm fairly certain at this point, <laughs> I have, for all the monsters, right. just gotten rid of them. I think oh. I brought them here. And I upgraded yeah. mine to paint it cool monsters. I, I, I hate these monsters. I hate these miniatures, I do too. like I hate no other miniatures <laughs> ever made. Yeah, okay? they, are, they are really obnoxious. They I get it. They're, they're, it's, it's a, a plastic a square <laughs> right. with a couple of tiny windows and a slab of cardboard. You got to slide in there and then <laughs> look through these two windows, but with a big chunk of plastic on top. <laughs> it's the worst thing. And here's the great part. <laughs> Those cardboard squares, 
have artwork <laughs> of the monster that you then hide in a piece right, of plastic. Right. And I don't even think the minis are that good, in my minis opinion. Minis are terrible. Yeah. They are just bad minis. They're not. Right? But Fantasy Flight, I don't know if you remember, they made that overpriced line of painted miniatures. I thought you were going somewhere else. Sure, okay. yeah. Yeah. No, just keep going. Trust, <laughs> trust me on this. Trust me on this. Just keep going. Uh -huh. So they made that overpriced, and you're like, you're done. Stop. <laughs> That's all you need Interrupt. to Interrupt. Right. <laughs> no, no, they made so back in the day when Match the Madness and Arkham Horror were very popular. This is right. before yeah. this was before the second edition. Okay, right. They came out with these pre painted yes. you could buy a yes. pre painted investigator and they're like three or four bucks. And I was right. like, Oh, if you want to get all of them for the games, yes. yeah, yeah. you're paying hundreds of dollars. This was a precursor to Kickstarter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um so I bought all the monsters because they've sold them on discounts at certain points. Okay. And I replaced them, and then it's harder. It's a harder choice for me because I'm like, I have this cool painted miniature. I get it. Yeah. That I'm now hiding this tile. Right, in. Right. If it's just the gray, I'm with you. But if it's with the painted miniature, I'm like, wow, well, it looks kind of cool though. I just hate them. Yeah, I, I get that like it's a miniatures all. game, and I now don't have the miniatures being foreboding on the board. But it speeds up the game and increases legibility. It is so much better ignoring the monster minis. I keep mm -hmm. the people. But the monsters, I just let them go. Right. I let like the game go. way better now. I really do. I enjoy mm. it way more now. Yep. So that's my rule for Mansions of Madness Second Edition. Definitely not a rule, but we're gonna let it slide. I'm good. The with rule it. is <laughs> put the monster on that's the true. board. Oh. Technically. Yeah. Okay. Then why did you get my case about ether fields? Not a rule. Ether fields? No, that's not the one I picked on because that's a huge rule. Yes. All right. Yeah, that's not what well, I said. Israel Stacy says he agrees with you. That's All right. right. I love it. All right, my number five is a game that is not sold currently. It's at both out of print from both companies that made it, and it's Coliseum. Oh, interesting. And again, if you ever watch us play it live, mm. I play with my variant so you don't even notice. Telling the story of the no, show. No, okay, so oh, it's, right. it's in the trading phase of Coliseum. Oh, you're right, God, it, it's turn-based, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so just... in Coliseum, you get a bunch of tiles, and then you need completely different tiles than the ones you got, and then you can trade with everybody, but it's, I go, Mike, would you like to trade with me? No. Z, would you like to trade with me? No. Okay, your turn. Mike goes, Z, I just play open trading. I'm right. like, I'll give you these two for that one. Great, and, and we're all talking back and forth, and Much yes, yeah, there's a small sure. disadvantage that if you're not a fast talker, you might lose out. Tough luck. It's so Talk much better that way. Faster. It cuts 30 minutes off the time frame. Yes, that's true. That's I, a huge deal, uh, 100%. It also feels more in spirit with the game, quite honestly, to play it that way. You yeah, it's so mean? weird that you they- You roll yeah. and move and like right. wheel and deal. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Well, this is closer, I mean, this came out quite a bit ago. Sure. Uh, it's closer to Catan. And remember, Catan had that trade That's thing. True. I can only trade with the person whose turn it is. That's true. So there was that. But sometimes there's a three-way trade. I'm like, I really want your yellow. You're like, I want white. I'm like, oh, Z has white. It's a math Z, trade. I'll give, yeah, it's a math trade. I mean, but <laughs> right. it really does. Yeah. And if you do it one at a time, it it's slows tedious. the game oh, down. Gosh. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, it it really functionally doesn't have any reason other than, like you said, maybe if you're if if you're rewarding for being the quickest. Right. You know what I mean? Right, right. Which well, honestly wouldn't be a good reason to make that trade. Oh, I heard you first. No, I mean you're gonna want to look at where people. No, are No, you the still game. are in the game, and you're still right. like, oh, you're winning. So right. maybe if uh, it's between you and right, exactly. and Mike, I'll pick Mike because we know he's clearly not winning. Um, yes. Why do you think do Mike it. hates you the had, merge rule so much? You had to do it, didn't you? I had to do it. Um, That's a good choice. 100%, yeah. Mm -hmm. And now I'm finished with my number five. And we're moving on to number four. Now. Go. <laughs> now we're being... And that's why I got rid of Chris. <laughs> Oh, we're back. Go ahead. My number four is... Uh, is I don't know what's <laughs> happening today on this top ten. Well, it's you know, supposed to be an annoying list. My number four okay. is Mission from a race game that we talk about quite a bit here on the channel. This is Jamaica. All right. Um, game I like quite a bit, but there's one rule that, that just bothers me, and I think it's mostly because this is, again, a, a pretty much a family weight game, right? This to me, this particular rule feels ultra gamery, and I don't if it's like the it. the rule I'm thinking of, I like that rule. Which one? Okay, is? Well, Every time you fill a, a hole, it has to be with one. something different. It's not that one. Okay. That, that rule is fine. I actually like that rule too. 
So it might be that going backwards thing, which it's, is which is a little wonky yes, the first it's, time. Yes, it's the paying for the space, and then you have to back up. That might get you into combat. It just it, it doesn't. I believe they are changing those rules. Oh, are they? In the new printing, there's something being changed ah. with that rule. There you go. That makes. I don't that's... know what the new rule is because I haven't seen a rule book in English. Right. Okay. But I know they're reprinting, mm -hmm. and I believe I the only thing the, the only thing changing is some sort of. Paying for a space and moving backwards. Okay. Rule. Yeah, that that rule just always felt incongruous. It, it just didn't feel like the other rules in the game, which were so straightforward. It's you the know? one thing when I teach that game, and I teach that game a decent amount, that yeah. I always have to explain and explain and explain. Right. When you stop, you pay. Right. And you stay there. If you cannot pay everything, you pay as much as you can. And then move and then backwards you... until you get to a place that you can pay. And pay and stay there. <laughs> right. Okay, so if I go through another place, I can pay partially. Do I pay that? No. No. You just pay partially the first place. Right. And then you, then you keep going till you can pay the whole thing. It's yeah. Yeah. And it might trigger. Why did they say you can't pay it? So move back three or something like something. that. Something. I mean, yeah, there's because you can be sneaky. You right. can actually end up at places you know you can't pay. Go around the inside of an island. Right. To get Not to be the able cove. to pay and then come back in on the outside and pick up treasure. Get that cove, right. Because those, backwards. those okay. don't have a cost. I get it. You can pull off tricky stuff like that, but generally it's just annoying. To I me. agree. The rules are, are a little clunky right, right there. Right, So, uh, yeah, this is a, a game I like, but I don't like that rule. I'm excited that they're actually, I, I hope it turns into something I don't know I what like the better. new one is. I don't know if it fixes necessarily that, right. but I know they are changing something there in okay. that area of the game. All right. I'm, Maybe I'm, it's something as simple as if you cannot pay... The whole thing, don't pay anything. Like I really don't know what they're changing. Right, right. But they're there. That's the only thing being targeted, mm. and the rule book, of course, sure, because the which rule was, book was a stupid map. Fold out map that well, needs to be in an actual book, and they uh, changed the that's cover. That's a rule. Okay, that's my number. That's my number, number two. We'll do a top ten <clears throat> games with annoying components, and then Zeke will be left out because he's already done one of them. That's true. Give us another annoying component. Component? Mm. No. How about a, an annoying rule instead? All right. Okay, I'm good with that. Number uh, four. Where are we at? Number four. There we mm -hmm. go. <clears throat> My number four is another big epic game called Zombicide Black Plague. I know what this is. You might. What is it? What a do you think it is? Oh, wait a it's minute. a splitting roll, 100%. Yeah, it's got to be a splitting roll, right? You, but you, said, you said Black Plague. This is just because this is the version of the game you like. This is the, the one I have. Got it. Known, okay. whatever. Yeah. The splitting roll. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Whenever a group of zombies. <laughs> I'm two zombies now. Mm -hmm. Whenever a group of zombies can reach your figure that they are moving towards mm -hmm. by two equidistant paths, you will split them as evenly as you can. If there's anything left, that one splits itself into two of the same figure, and they each take a path. If it happens again here, it again will happen. That figure will once again split if there's two paths to the... And it is the most... Like, it's a game that attempts to be thematic. Right. And it is the least thematic answer to a problem mm -hmm. I've also, ever seen. why in a can't the players game. just say, four go this way, three, three go, go that, that way? way. Who cares? Yeah, like, it if there is a, an uneven number, right. pick one. Pick a path. Right. It's crazy. <laughs> it's obvious, like, they I, have this changed, I cannot decide. Say, say, is this not something they've changed? They've changed it. Okay, they I have changed so. it since, but right. it's... They seem to keep reiterating on these like clearly dumb, annoying <laughs> things. Like, if you shoot into a space, the original right. one, if you shoot into a space, you have to hit your friend first. First, yeah. Huh? What? Okay, we're going to get rid of that rule. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Then they got rid of that one, and right. then this one. The zombies all hold people hostage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'll never get me. You'll never get me brains. <laughs> and they, uh, yeah, so they got rid of it, but I really, I really don't like this rule. It was... I actually have a decent amount of house rules for my own copy of this, mm. and this is one of them for sure. Yeah. I like pick where they go or I roll a die or something. Just, you know, come on, it's dumb. It is. It doesn't make any sense. So that one's out. Zombicide Black Plague. Mm. No splitty dumminess. Nah, nah. My number four is the first one I wrote down. <laughs> oh. Because it's the longest house rule that I've made, and whenever we make these lists, everyone always mentions it because. I don't actually know anybody who doesn't play with this house rule. Okay. And that's Carcassonne. I don't play with it. You don't? No. What is the rule? The rule is you draw, draw at the beginning of your turn and then play, and your change is you draw at the end of your turn. 
Doesn't everyone play that way? You don't? You no. play draw at the beginning? Yeah. Slows the game down way too much. I like Carcassonne to be slow. I don't play it that way because I don't like Carcassonne. You don't like play Carcassonne, whatever. I don't like Carcassonne. I love Carcassonne, and I, I actually draw, you draw the towel at the middle of your turn. <laughs> Just so that the beginning is extra slow. That's right. I anyway, expect you to think where tiles might go. Despite whatever, when you draw. I whatever draw Z's talking interrupt. about. You draw the tile at the end of your turn. It just makes so much sense. The original rules were kind of like, hey, everyone helps you decide where it goes. and mm. Which does happen to some degree. Because right. I, there's always a point where I'm playing with something and I'm going, you only have these two spots. And I'm usually saying that because... They are still looking. I'm right. like, I'd like to point out, these are where you can play that tile. <laughs> right. It sounds like we play with different people. When I play Carcassonne, I am usually teaching someone who is, for whom Carcassonne is not a run-of-the-mill game. Right. So I absolutely do have them draw at the beginning of the turn. And I absolutely expect them to be watching me on their turn instead of looking at their tile. I... You better watch me play. That's right. And see what a master tactician <laughs> does <laughs> if you want to get better. Forget it. Mm, um, I, I do. I actually do follow the rules. Normally. Side note, I often, I would say half the time, I even play with the draw three tiles and play one of them. I thought that might be what you were going to say, actually. But, but I... That that actually then does the reverse and slows the game down again. Yeah, it does. Um, because you've got more But that draw making. at the end of your turn, I'm still mind-boggled that that's not part of the game. Almost... I will take this rule and put this with almost any game where there's a lot of games where it'll be like, draw the card at the beginning of your turn and then play. And I'm thinking, have the person draw it at the end of their turn so they can think about their turn. You say so that people can watch you. No, they're on their phone. They're on their phone. I'm sorry. Not in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I removed the phones. No, I'm sorry. I feel very strongly about Not this right. one. All right. Draw at the end of your turn. Carcassonne. Hmm. So we'll use your card to move the body. Got it. Oh, oh uh, okay. So my number three is a game that um, probably will not be on Z's list because he does not like it. You don't know that. But uh, my number three comes from Pandemic. Uh, any idea of what the rule is for Pandemic? The game is Pandemic? Yes. Is There's it only that ever once one you go, rule. Once open you go. hands is the only thing. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Is it the says, rule, is the the rule, rule open hands? In, no, in only the if book, you play the simplest version. In the book, it says you're supposed to keep your card, you must keep your cards hidden. However, you can tell everybody what you have. Mm -hmm. You don't play with that. What's the point? This is the Alpha same as this Castle Panic. You know, Alpha that, gaming's uh, the point. Big time. Oh my gosh. I don't know. To me, oh, this is a cooperative game. I play game. with this rule. You don't, you don't play with open hands. I do not play with open hands unless I know the people playing. Oh, man. And no, I know I, they're I, not I... alpha gamers. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Have I had some bad games of, uh, of Pandemic with open hands? Really? Like, terrible games. Okay. And I think it's happened at this point to me at conventions because people sometimes consider me, me, me like the Pandemic guy. Right, right, right. And so they need, or they for some reason think I'm, I'll be maybe impressed if they, like, Flex their pandemic right, muscle. Sure, sure. And so, where is the pandemic muscle? The pandemic <laughs> muscle is right here, brother. So, uh, but, but brother, yeah. I've seen. So I've seen some folks sure. take over pandemic. Absolutely. But it, again, just to show off how right. well they can do it. But but we're but for the purposes of this list, I think this is a stupid rule. It's mm -hmm. annoying because again, this gets to that larger issue of alpha gaming. Is this a game problem or is this a player problem? Yeah, but you're changing the game to help alpha gamers. No, no I'm changing don't a stupid play with alpha rule. gamers. I will change the rule and then I'm kick changing the a stupid if if you can tell this if you can tell Z, I've got Karachi in my hand. How is that different than having Karachi sitting right there on the table? Because you might not tell me. Why wouldn't I tell you? We're both trying to win this game. You might just not remember to tell me, I'm saying. It, it simulates I, me not knowing everything you're thinking about at any given moment. I, I guess. I just, I fundamentally don't understand this idea of I have these cards in my hand. I can tell you specifically these are, and it's not like they're cards that have a ton of text. You're basically saying, I've got Paris I, in my I hand. I get that. I mean, I've got I think London in my hand. I do it with people I don't know. Right. Usually, because it helps that whole like, Oh, I don't know what to do. Can anybody help me get over here? Mm -hmm. it you, you sort of have people converse about what's yeah. happening. If I, and I don't do this, hopefully, but you know, if I look around the table, I'm like, you have over there two extra actions. 
here's what I think I should do. I'm going to go here, here, here. You can play that, and then I can go an extra one and cure there. Right. That good? I'm yeah. going to do that because I've played this game 150 times. <laughs> so I'm going to do that, right. and you're going to watch me do it. And that is curved a little bit if I require you to tell me you have it. I, I guess. I just, again, I think this is a, a people versus game problem. I get it. I'm a big proponent of... Alpha gaming is not a game's problem. Right. You know I am. Yeah, yeah. But I think that if you're also then like baiting the alpha gamer I by putting cookie you crumbs on the table. You can't have it both ways in this argument. Someone's, you know, they they have a predilection. Is that the predilection, right? Predilection, yeah. Towards alpha gaming. Then they shouldn't be playing this game. Then you should not also, though, be like, gosh, I'm such a, lo a lost little lamb. Yeah. I do you know that he has me? had bad experiences because he, I, he tells I, me about I it. I mean, there's that. that guy we need the car for. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I just, I don't know. When I read a rule like this in a rule book, and I'm just I like, this it, fundamentally it. makes zero sense. I get that. You know what I mean? So anyway, there we go. That's right. my number. I'm what curious. I'm curious what people are uh, They're thinking. agreeing with both of you. No. Then I will not have it. <laughs> my, my number three is the first one I thought of. Thought of. I wonder if you knew I thought of this one, because you, you gave me like I a knowing look when I said like, okay, well I've got one. I got to figure out the other nine. Mm. I'm waiting to hear it. But it's your number three. It's not your number one. It's not because it's mm. an easy rule to just ignore. Okay. It's that kind of thing. Like you were just talking about. This right. is my version of what you were just saying. Okay. Days of Wonder. No. Okay. This yeah, is a game called is. Witch of Salem. Oh, same. Okay, same. It's right. a cooperative game. I knew yeah, Z yeah, yeah. would mention this, okay. but I, I, In, I don't mention it because this rule is so bad, it made me dislike the game, and now I might have to go back. It's well, it's I the kind will, of rule but, you can very, very easily ignore, though, right? Okay. Yeah, Here's but it actually rule. made me dislike the game. We're all cooperating to stop Cthulhu, yada, yada, right? Mm-hmm. There's He's the moments. Worst. Yada yada is the worst of the yada ones. yada yaksvah. <laughs> There's moments in which you will appear at a location on the board. You flip over a town, look at it, and put it back. And you find that if there's a gate there, you need to close, mm. or if it's a brick wall. Right. And you cannot tell other players. <laughs> so you're like, oof. <laughs> you're not, hello. And so somebody else <laughs> might have the things needed to close that gate. Right. But they cannot ask you, right. hey, Steve, can I go close that gate? So be like, well. <laughs> you're like, that's a yes? Or a, it's the dumbest uh, rule with these people running around town, and I right, guess when right. you run by someone, like, hey, should I go that way? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I guess he can't tell me. Um, <laughs> I, I, I actually dislike the game because of that rule. Yeah, it's, it's dumb. so stupid. It's Here's really the dumb. funny thing: when you go to look at a gate, you can flip it face up on the table uh -huh. and just leave it there. Everyone can see it <laughs> if it's there or not. Uh -huh. And the game is still difficult. <laughs> it's not like it's a difficulty right. curving kind sure, of thing. Sure, sure. You lose all the time still. Right. So I just don't get why that rule is there. It's one of the gamiest rules. Right. I don't know what they were trying to simulate. I don't Because people do speak in this universe. <laughs> um, like, what did you say? <laughs> yeah, it's just... You must learn for yourself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, Witch of Salem... Easily, uh, thankfully, an easily ignored rule, and I really do like the game, but I just I just don't teach it. Like Tom said, just don't talk about it, don't teach it. When you go look, flip it, done. This is a don't ask, don't tell rule. My number three <laughs> is a pretty much crossover with Z. Mm. Okay. And you just said it for your number four. You said Zombicide Black Plague. Yeah. I'm saying Zombicide, but it just... Whichever. There's two rules. Right. And you said the one, the splitting, dumb. But the one that annoyed me, and they did fix this in Zombie Side 2. Yeah. Right. Uh, my word. This whole <laughs> the shooting, shooting the, into an yeah, area. It's dumb. And you are, if you shoot, I, I would understand things like, hey, Z struggled with a zombie. If I shoot into that space, I might hit Z. Right. But no, the rule was, you will hit Z. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> no matter what. I shoot straight up, yeah. Z's going to, ah! Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> right. <laughs> So stupid. It's such a weird rule. It really Just is. make it that I, you can't shoot in there. Then. Right. Right? <laughs> like, no, it's like if you shoot, you right. have to hit your friend first. <laughs> Meat shield rule, yeah. <laughs> It's just dumb. By by zombies, not yeah. like a smart terrorist no, 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 or something. No, 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 no. Yeah. You know, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Mm, that's good. a good one. Yeah. They, I, they, they get rid of that very quickly. They did. And like the, you know, pretty much whatever was after the original Zombicide, mm -hmm. which might have been Black Plague, because Black Plague's got some years on it now, pretty uh, much got rid of it. It was quick. Yeah. They made several expansions they of Zombicide they, they, first. Yeah. Okay, that's Black true. Plague, that's right. true. You're I just, right. You just wonder how, you know, obviously they, they went through a lot of playtesting. How did this not just come up in I'm every single I'm telling you, this was the merge game. of its day. Yes. <laughs> well, no, but when we brought this up, People defended it all over the place. I remember that. But that's this why. That's uh -huh. why this was the merge right. of its day. Yes, it really was. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like most threads in the original Zombicide are that's about true. like. That's very true. Guys, what do you do with a shooting into a space <laughs> rule? That's a thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. This has bothered me in most games, though. Back when I played Warhammer 40K, mm -hmm. there's there's shooting and then there's hand-to-hand -hand combat. Right. And there was the rule in the version I played. I don't know where it is now. You could not shoot people in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Okay, fine, because you might hit your own people or whatever. Right. So what they would do is someone would get a really powerful guy who's really good at hand-to-hand. -hand. He'd run into a squad of your guys, kill them all. Mm -hmm. Get a free rush into another squad of guys, kill them all. Get a free, and I was like, after a certain point, I'd be like, you know what? Forget our guys. <laughs> I'm shooting them. Shoot! <laughs> <No. laughs> Here's a grenade. <laughs> That's right. You know, yeah. yeah, we'll lose a guy or two, but... Come on now! Yeah, right, losing yeah. the army to this one tank. Yeah. <laughs> so I, that that sort of thing always bugs me. Yeah. Yes, I realize so shooting your own people is a thing, right? You, yeah, sure. But the zombie side when it's cracked up, it's like you will shoot the guy. Yeah, you're going to hit your your teammate. <laughs> so weird. Yeah, it really is odd. I'm giving it a one. Okay, so my number two is, um, is it a rule, isn't it a rule? You're gonna oh, have to determine this. Oh. Um, it's it's, um, it, it's this an is, ice cream flavor. It is, it's it's a great old one called Yada Yada. This is coming from uh, Lords of Waterdeep. Any and so idea? on and so on. Any idea? Does that have to do with the mandatory quest? It, it is the mandatory quest. Yeah, 100% I don't remember this. <laughs> what is it? The mandatory quest. <laughs> it's that little stupid quest you give someone that can just spend like two it's people so, and get two points, it's but it's so, so annoying. annoying. Basically, it slows them down, all basically. it does is like, yeah, they're building up towards this great quest, you know, this 20 point quest. It's like, oh, here you go. Deal with this stupid little, you know, sweep the dungeon floor quest you got to deal with, right? Yes, master. Okay. Yeah, it's just, it, it's just annoying. It's, I don't think anyone likes it. An expansion but, right. thing or an original? No, no, no it's no. in the original game. I don't hate them as much as Mike does, but I also never play them. Unless someone's winning by a mile, then I might go, okay, I'll play. Yeah, it's, it's essentially a take that that's, card. That's all it is. And it, it's, again, certain rules annoy me when they feel incongruous from the game. And that mm -hmm. this is another one of those where it just feels like it doesn't fit, right? right. Everything else you're doing makes sense. You know, you, you're playing a particular kind of game. It has those kind of familiar things. I'm building buildings. I'm sending out my adventurers on these quests. Take that. I just It just doesn't yeah. fit, right? right? It doesn't fit. And it's such a little thing. And it's so easy to just... This is one of the things I, I will sometimes you house rule if it's with people I know. And they are like, yeah, I don't like these quests. We just take them out. I, like, if I'm playing with my wife, we just take them out. There's no, we, neither one of us, even if we get them, we're never going to play them on the other person. Sure, right. Uh, so it just, I don't know. That slows somebody down. I guess. I so guess. does a chair to that. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, I see people saying there's no way to pull a leader back. I get that there might be some, you know, that there might be some mechanical reasons, but I just wish there was a better way to deal with that then. I wish there was a better way to deal with a runaway leader than these little piddly mandatory quests that... Uh, they do just, give you points. You gave your guy two points. Yeah, they're just obnoxious. Like the that, they're obnoxious and, and annoying. That's and, the and sound and of the cultists for yeah. yada yada. <laughs> mm. Yeah, no. And they just keep going. That's, and they, right. that's how you summon him. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I was at the bagel shop. That's my number two. I just, if it was up to me, I would just have take him out of the game completely. Mandatory All right, my number two is another one I thought of uh, very soon, and it's, uh, this is what you were just trying to hint at, mm. Tom, on my last one from Days of Wonder. <laughs> ah. Shadows ah. over Camelot. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the rule is <laughs> you cannot tell someone what cards are in your hand. You cannot tell them the numbers you're holding, the cards are numbered between one and five. That's mm. it. Right. But you can hint <laughs> at what you're holding in your hand. Here's the thing, okay? The cards go between one and five. <laughs> and you can say things like, I have a very high card. <laughs> 
I have a kind of like a middle card. Higher than average card. <laughs> Higher than average, but not too high. <laughs> Really? <laughs> you go between one and five. I got it. Right. You know, it's just it. It's so dumb because you either can't say anything, mm -hmm. and that's what I think it should be, by the way, mm -hmm. or you just tell me what you're holding because I can figure it out. Yeah, the right. game's easy. It's the enough. most like it's the goofiest like roundabout way to tell someone something without saying something. Right. right. It makes me think of that whole meme on on Twitter. It's like. Tell me you're a millennial without telling oh, me you're, right, or right, show right, me right. you're this without saying it. Mm -hmm. This is like, you know, tell me you can count to five <laughs> without counting to five. <laughs> right. Come on. Yeah, this so, is dumb. This is dumb. I really don't like this rule, and um, unfortunately, this is not. There's not a great way to actually get rid of this one. Yeah, you kind of have to go all you or nothing. You kind of have to do it, yeah. Right, right. You do I usually go the other way. I, I, I let people be super obvious, and then we just kind of roll our eyes. Mm -hmm. You laugh at the mechanism, right? right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. like at the it's rule. So like, silly. I can really help you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So anyway, Shadows over Camelot. I wish there was a better way to deal with that one, but there really isn't. So mm -hmm. that's my number two. My number two is another sort of crossover with Z. I just mm -hmm. picked a different game. Okay. So my game is Marvel Legendary. Ah. And this is the same, same thing, thing as Castle okay. Panic. I, I just when we first, I remember there are some games I remember. Well, I remember most games I played, but I remember distinctly me and Eric went over and they taught us the game for the very first time, mm -hmm. and they were like, "Oh, and there's gonna be one winner." And I was like, "Ooh, okay, that sounds yeah, interesting." Yeah. You know, and back then I wasn't as violently anti-semi co-op <laughs> so I assumed back then it could still work I was a naive fool mm. and we sat down and we're talking to co-op I'm like so oh the person who kills the most monsters wins or I mean who defeats the most villains wins it's like well but we all win <laughs> and the guy's like yeah but that person really wins <laughs> right but we all won yes but that person wins it's like it yeah. didn't match and then it's worse because I had friends uh, Matt Hosey and, uh, and someone else they went to Origins several years ago and decided mm -hmm. to enter a Marvel Legendary <laughs> tournament. That's just terrible. <laughs> or someone wins, but it's in co-op games. <laughs> so you're like, uh, I, can, I can help you. But mm, I should, but I'm not. <laughs> right. I won't. I don't <laughs> understand My that at it's just, all. It, that breaks cooperation. Yeah, so they, yes. You play, you win the game, <laughs> but the guy who got the most points goes to the next round. Wow. I, at some point, you're like, I'm not going to win, so guess what? No one is! Yeah, at some point, it. I'm like, I'm hoarding all the cans of That's food. That's correct. Mm -hmm. I don't care about the zombies. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I I really, really hate that That's rule. That's terrible. I agree. Yeah. No. All right, well, my uh, number one you is can't. a direct crossover with Tom and a, a somewhat crossover with Z, and it shows how much I agree with what you just said, because my number one is Marvel Legendary. Oh, I, yeah. I absolutely, <laughs> okay. this was the first thing I thought of when you when you brought up this list. I'm like, okay, well, this is the one that I know I'm gonna put on there, and then I had to work for the other nine. Uh, this is just so obvious. Uh, and I don't even know that I have as much of an issue with the concept of semi-cooperative games, but this is really just a co-op. I mean, this is a cooperative game. They mm -hmm. tried to mess with. There's a couple characters in yeah. the game that you give wounds to other people. There was a, they tried to lean into that. I think with the villain set, yeah. they tried to lean into it, and everyone's like, "Shut up!" We're yeah, playing we this just want no part of that. Yeah, the game right, is right. a cooperative game. You're superheroes. You're fighting against enemies. It's a cooperative game, right? right? You, the whole concept, I don't need to belabor the point. You covered it very well. Thank I you. just think this is a ridiculous, ridiculous rule. It was the first thing that came to my mind when we were covering this I list. really, really... Again, though, this is also, of all the rules on the list, it's the easiest very one. Very easy. You could even not tell people right. unless they go, I've done that. what's this tiny number on the card? You're right, like, right. ah, it's for some stupid variant no one yeah, plays. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. No, I've, I don't even think about it. I just play it as a co-op every right. time. Right, right. All right, my number one is a little bit more of an esoteric pick, and it's something that certainly does not happen in every game. In fact, it's a rule a player has to choose to do. Mm. But when they choose to do this in a game, it grinds the whole game to an absolute halt for the Interrupt. next for the next five <laughs> minutes. You're like, oh, I'm gonna go get a I'm gonna go get a coffee because this is factory fun. Okay, uh, I don't. Know in this factory thing. fun, one of the rules you are allowed to take. 
is restructure. Do you guys know that? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I do remember this. You can restructure your machines. Oh, my gosh. That means you can take that that you're looking at there on the screen and say, oh, I just drafted a new one and I can't fit it anywhere. And you can do one of two things with it. You can throw it away or you can restructure this by pulling up piping Pulling up the machines, mm. repiping in different directions. Oh, that's awful. And trying to fit in the new one. Here's the problem. Usually, eight times out of ten, that person realizes, hmm. They still can't get it in there, right? Either I still can't, can't <laughs> do it or oh, I'm spending about 27 <laughs> points just to make ten. Okay, I'm not going to do it. I want to go back. Oh. So you need to put it all back where it was. Could you do this every turn, theoretically? You could do this every turn if you want to, I think, yeah. Most people don't do it. I will certainly discourage you from doing this. <laughs> uh, the game is only I'm 10. I'm do it if we ever play this again. I'm doing it for sure. Oh the game gosh, is only so like awful. 8 or 10 rounds, so you, know, you don't normally run into that problem. But you could do this. Normally it happens near the end of the game, if it's going to happen at all. And I quit. Can you do it in the sequel? The sequel forbids you from doing it to more than like one or two pieces. Got it. Okay. They 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 said in the se in the second one there's like you can change two machines or something, something like that. There's a rule wow. that fixes it. In the second one, Factory Funner, they also there's a few things that are clear reiterations of things that they noticed were problems. Mm. But that one being allowed to restructure, and then invariably having to go. Uh, I want to go back. I want to <laughs> undo this all. I have to remember where it all went. No. I'm out. Is a nightmare. I got to tell you, the, knowing that rule makes me, I would I would avoid this game because you of that rule. You will not need to worry about it, though. Mm. Normally, you don't need to worry about all it. Right. You take the machine and you go, I cannot restructure this for less than the six points this gives me. Because mm -hmm. every time you add a pipe, that's a point you're paying. Mm -hmm. I can't do it, so I will throw away the machine. And you're done. And we move on to the next round. You don't try to like pick it all up off the ground of the factory floor and put it all back down. Everyone else is sitting there waiting for you to do this for minutes at a time. Yeah, that sounds terrible. It's the worst. Um, so that's my number one. That's the Oof, one that man. when I was making the list, I'm like, I, that doesn't happen all the time. But when it happens, boy, I hate myself. Yeah. So I wrote that. You know, that's my that's, number one. I would want no part. Well, of my that. number one is anticlimactic because it is a crossover with Z. And this one is easily my number one wait, wait, most wait, annoying wait, wait, rule. Wait, wait, wait. Shadows are Hold on. It is. Shadows, yeah. <laughs> and, but I also, uh, when I was thinking, I was like, just in every game. Yes. Look, I don't mind if there's no communication like the mind. Right. Although even the mind has the problem where they're you like. You can meta. What exact, can you, how much information can you give? Can right. you snarl, frown, whatever. Mm -hmm. Um Things like the crew are very specific. Right. You have limited, but you put the card down, right. put the token here. Right. That's exactly what you can do. Yes. I'm great with that. Yep. Limit it, but you tell me what I can and cannot say. In fact, games like Hanabi, yes. they give you very specific you rules. Can you can or cannot or say this. this. Right. And but it's games like Shadows, and I love the game, but again, right. it's that whole, I wonder if I can help you. Yeah. Okay, then you can't because you have a one. Right. Limited so communication is so hard to pull off, and it gets back to kind of one of your pet peeves in gaming in general is wishy-washy rules. Mm -hmm. If you're going to tell people they're limited in something, you have to be very specific about what they're limited to can and cannot do. Unless it's a party game or something right, right, dumb. Right, right, right. you got to yeah, be you specific. You notice we didn't put any party games on our list, right. really, because Right, no, who cares? whatever, mm -hmm. yeah, but... Those are a huge... I have a huge problem with a lot of limited communication right. games for that reason. Yeah. Because that line isn't really drawn in the sand. There's all too much interpretation for me. Right. I don't like that. The crew is a good example, though, I think, of where it's done well. That's true. <clears throat> right, because you can exactly say right. it's here or not, and then you're not allowed to say anything else. Right. Mm -hmm. And that works. Mm -hmm. And But the mind, there's the big arguments sure. in the mind, because I'll say, can I pull my cards back mm -hmm. and just or just put my hands on my card like this? Right? And that's, I'm not playing for a while. Right. Because I have high numbers. But some people will say, you cannot do that. Right. You cannot communicate at all. You can't count in your head silently at the same time. I'm like, well, what can I do? <laughs> right. Just tell me. Give me some ideas. Right. It's even when they're like in a game, it will say, I like trading games. But when they say, for example, you can trade anything for anything. Mm -hmm. 
list what I can trade. Right. Yes. Tell me Do specifically. It. Because can I, can I, you know, there might be something where I might, trade victory can points. I, can for I victory give you point? my victory points? Right, you didn't right. say I couldn't do that. Right. So yeah, you're right. You need to, you need to lay it out there for him. Well, those are our most annoying rules in games that we do enjoy. Mm -hmm. Before we pop out here, folks, do you have any that we missed or that bother you? We'll quickly mention them. I saw several people, when I put up a, a poll on this. Several people mentioned the farmers in Carcassonne, but I love the farmers in Carcassonne. I think I think teaching them's a pain. Right. I think yeah, that's that's yeah. the other thing where it's kind of incongruous. It's a very you light take game farmers out though, then the game loses a lot of its luster. It's just with the farmers, is they've they've gone through like three versions of the rules. Right. For farmers. Mm -hmm. like, yes, okay, that doesn't help. Farmer right. score. Uh, farmer score. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Farms score. Right. Three points. No. Four points. No. Back to three. <laughs> they keep changing them. That's, that's the true. problem. Yeah. Right. What do we got? Yeah, what else do we have here? Uh, let's see here. Dead of um, Winter, the traitor can mess with you. And even if you kill a traitor, they can come back in. Yeah, well, Dead of Winter, I just hate every, mo most <laughs> rules because it's semi co op. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> I don't mind. I, I still have some affection for uh, Dead of Winter, even though I understand. So, yeah, some people complain about the first round of Jamaica because there's like everywhere everyone goes, they all land on each other yeah, and there's like a right. round of fighting. Sure. Early fighting in Jamaica, yeah, I, mm -hmm. I wish it would uh, not happen for the first couple rounds. Well, you could, again, I could house rule that out. You could I house suppose. rule that out. I try not to do it. Like Mike said, I try to avoid house rules. Right. Doors and dwellings of Eldervale? I'm not what sure what the issue would be. Doors are we talking The doors of the adventure cards. The first card that's that's flipped up for each color that's in the game is a door card. Oh, I see, I see. And I guess maybe if you, maybe the issue that, that Ben said Scott there has is the idea that when you go there, you take a card, you can buy another card, or you can put one to the bottom of the deck. And so maybe if you were putting door cards to the bottom because they're the easiest ones to get. Oh, I didn't think about that one. Which? Adventure games you have to restart upon death. Yeah. You're right, like Bloodborne just said that. Mm -hmm. And that's a rule that I'm like, oh, no, we died. We're going back to the beginning of this mission. We're not restarting the whole game. Right, 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 right. right. Oh, that's good. Um, the Rocks in Gloomhaven. <laughs> yeah, right, all right. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> it's a year and a half. Too soon. Uh, let's see here. Galaxy Trucker with only one hand. But is there... Eh. Standard auction power grid. We change it to blind auction. It's so much better. No. And power grid? Oh, blind auction and power grid would totally change the game. The math is mm -hmm. so tight in power grid. It would right. be hard to do that. Yeah. Uh, Downforce letting you bet on yourself. That's interesting. I, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm, I thought about that. Next game I play, I'm going to try that. You can't bet on yourself. Then you shouldn't try to win. It might change the game. It will change oh, the game. Change I'll the try game. to do worse. That makes mm -hmm. no sense. You well, have to be allowed to bet on yourself. I would try to actively do worse, Tom. Right. I'm or like so, I would try to do well the first half to get your sucker bet right. and try and to lose tank, at the end. And sure, but it still makes it a game. It, it makes a it game. a weird it's game in which the closer I get to the I'm trying the closer it. I get to the race to the end, I like mm -hmm. step on the brakes. I'm trying time it. stories. Ooh. The, time <laughs> stories is huge. Yeah, yeah. Scythe Rither Walk. I can Here's the thing about that. the side rither walk is I think it's a good rule. I agree. It's just thematically makes no sense. It makes no Three. sense thematically. It's Three. there for a mechanical reason. I can reason. cross the river, but, but only, only if there's mountains on the other <laughs> only, side. Only to these two. Uh, yes, I know. I considered putting that because obviously I like the game very much, but uh, and and it is annoying. So it's it's a that's a good choice. It's it's a tough thing to to teach. It is. Um, right. To the point where sometimes I want to pick Riverwalk just so I can stop forgetting right. which ones I can go into. Right. Yes. Yes. That's a special time. ability. That is, a, yes. that, is a, that is a good one. Uh, what else we got? Yeah, a lot of you are just saying weird stuff. Um, the photosynthesis letting someone sit in the middle spot for the entire game. No one would do that. What kind of a jerk would do that? <sighs> yeah. <Isn't it? laughs> that is super annoying. Building your your three level tree and just sitting there in the middle. Yeah, that must, sucks. Yeah. Okay, I don't remember it that well. But. Monopoly rolling doubles gives another turn. Mm. That is always a weird thing about that game, right? If you like rolled and got bad and paid someone and then got another turn, but then again, the game came out in you know the yeah. early 1900s. We're fine. That's true. That is true. Alrighty, well. <laughs> Huh. Mention stuff in the comments later on when we're done um, and thumb up things that you agree with. Yeah. Right? And then that stuff will float to the top and we'll see rules that people got. Again, we didn't pick a lot of games that we hate because right. of the rules. No, I could... no, 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 right. You got to pick 
little things we deal with mm -hmm. in fun games we will play. Someday right. we'll do that. We'll do a top 10 games I hate because of one rule. Right. My number one, I, Factory Fun. I won't play that game. <laughs> You would, I think, like that I game. Might, I might like it. I hate that rule, though. Oof. We'll play the I got rid of Factory Fun and kept the second one. Okay. So. All right. Folks, we'll be back tomorrow morning. Live gameplay at 10 a.m. So come and join us live there. There'll be a contest, and you'll be able to jump on board there. Other than that, we're done for now. We got more videos going up today. Check them out. I'm Tom Vassell. Z Garcia. I'm Mike Delicio. Have fun interrupting. Yada, 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 yada.